And welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swatt with the Sacramento Report. In the next few minutes, we're going to talk about the priorities of the Legislative Black Caucus at the State Capitol. My guest is Holly Mitchell, the chair of the Black Caucus, member of the State Assembly representing Culver City. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for the opportunity. So let's start right there at the beginning. Uh, you, you have nine members, yes. which is an historic high, I it, understand. Yes, the Black Caucus, uh, we haven't had those numbers in recent years thanks to term limits and shifting demographics. Uh, this is the first time we've had an African-American member of the legislature representing a, a county in a community south of L.A. County. So we're very proud to have grown the caucus um, to uh, this number. So wh what are your priorities at legislatively? Well, again, the caucus is very diverse in terms of the districts we represent, but the nine members of the caucus come together around a common vision of helping to support and grow the interests and needs of African-American Californians. And we've identified two priority areas. We are clear that a number of issues impact the African-American community, health, to public safety, et cetera. But we really focus and have honed our uh, areas, our focus down to two areas, education and something we're calling black enterprise, which is really addressing the disproportionate African-American unemployment uh, rate, as well as growing and supporting black-owned businesses. We'll start first with education. I, and there's no doubt that uh, over the last several years, uh, we've seen a, a dramatic achievement gap uh, between um, I guess Asians and Caucasians mm -hmm. and Latinos and African Americans. Absolutely. There seems to be some evidence, at least with Latinos perhaps, that the gap is is, is narrowing a little bit, but you, you don't think it's narrowing at all with African Americans? It is not, and a number of studies that are uh, a Pew Foundation study recently that's, that's measuring um, wealth and whether black kids are going to outperform their parent, parents in previous generations. The black achievement gap is staying constant and in some areas widening. So as a result, the caucus has decided to focus on three kind of uh, tangible goals. Closing the achievement gap for preschoolers, making sure that black kids um, are in high quality preschool environments, increasing the black graduation rate across the state, and increasing the matriculation rate for black kids in the publicly funded higher uh, um, colleges, the CSU system and UC. That's that, that dropout rate is still a huge problem, isn't it? It's huge. Alameda County, for example, has a 23% graduation rate for black kids, and that's something we want to really try to make a tangible impact on. The other, the other component, uh, black enterprise. Yes. Uh, I, I would think that moving forward with the high-speed rail project is critical for your caucus because there's going to be not only tons of jobs, mm -hmm. but a lot of money in contracts and California wants contracts going to minority-owned firms. Absolutely, and so one of our goals under the Black Enterprise um, Initiative is to increase the opportunity for black businesses and vendors to have contracting opportunities with the state government and other governmental entities. So just like you stated, on major infrastructure projects where there's huge public investment, that black-owned businesses have an opportunity to be at the table. Do you think that's a, a major barrier to success uh, uh, for black owned businesses that they simply don't know about uh, procure procurement opportunities? Absolutely. The number of my colleagues, Senator Price and others, have focused on this area for many years. Um, and again, with the uh, lack of access to capital, given the current recession and the fact that banks aren't lending, and if you're trying to incubate or grow a small business and get to that next level in terms of your own growth and an ability to hire more people and provide more jobs for Californians, making sure that they have opportunities to that growth opportunity is critical. You know, th this is not just for black-owned businesses, too. Small businesses throughout the state of California have problems with access to capital and other issues like that. Women-owned yeah. businesses, minority-owned businesses, they all have that same challenge and we're going to try to just do our part with regard to black enterprise. All right, Holly Mitchell, State Assembly from Culver City, thanks very much for being here. We appreciate it. And thanks to our viewers for watching Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. A reminder, you can see this and other interviews on YouTube, also on My Government On Demand. I'm Steve Swatt. We'll see you next time.